catch under pressure by Fergal Moore, the captain. Back into the forwards it goes, beyond Kieran Joyce, runs on towards Joe Canning. Well, Galway fans would have wished him to spend more of the game in at full forward, where he might have been more of a threat, but he's been out working, busy. The ball hasn't come in, and uh, Kilkenny have been relatively comfortable during the second half. Back out again it comes here to Joseph Cooney, and uh, he was fouled, and it's going to be a free to Galway. Late in the match, we're in the uh, 61st minute, as you can see. Yeah, John, you were mentioning a few people overseas, uh, two Manu College shoots, Mark Power from Kildare and Sam Hart from Wexford. They're watching the match in Tuscan, Arizona. It's great that people can tune into the match all over the world. And that is put in there by Tony O'Gregan, but collected back down there by Kieran Joyce, puts his head down, gets it away smartly. Out as far as TJ Reid, comes back in here once again, Andy Smith trying to cause a little bit of consternation for the Kilkenny backs, but Galway players almost doing it like individuals at this stage. The greater measurement is coming from Kilkenny. It's a measured approach all the way from Killian Buckley in there as far as the substitute, and Colin Fennelly announces his return by putting it in the back of the Galway net. Goal number three for Kilkenny, and now they are simply routing Galway. He's not on too long, Colin Fennelly, but he's got another goal here, and the manager is happy, 62 minutes in. Well, Brian Cody is going to be thrilled, you know, he got it bang on today, Walter Walsh and Johnny Cohen did his job, took him off, and Colin Fennelly coming on, obviously, very disappointed not to be playing, hungry, you know, when the game may be well won, but, you know, used his strength there, held off uh, the defender, and, you know, one-handed into the back of the net, and really, you know, it's... It's, got, it's, it's so one-sided now, and Galway really you know, well, some had their chances fans, the last day. Some of the fans leaving, 33 coming back on for Kilkenny. I think that is JJ Delaney, isn't it? Wearing number 33. Yeah, he's, he's back on there. And uh, Noel Hickey, presumably, is the one who has made way. But that was a temporary sub anyway. I noticed that Davy Glennon's waiting for his opportunity to come back in, the man who... Uh, Rescued Galway in many respects by uh, getting that free off uh, Jackie Tyrrell on the drawn game right at late in the match in extra time. Right now it's a case of Galway trying to put a bit more respectability on the final scoreline. Joe Canning leaving it off here, Damian Hayes couldn't take it, back out came Andy Smith, but the challenges are coming in strong and vigorously now from the likes of Jackie Tyrrell, that time a little bit too vigorously. But Kilkenny will be absolutely delighted with this. It's a, it's a small county, relatively speaking. There are only 12 senior clubs in Kilkenny. But my goodness, how they do the business time and again. So Davy Glennon is the one who comes on. And the player going off is Andy Smith. Well, he gets a chance to play in the final once again, Davy Glennon. But he's coming on late at this stage to try and rescue it with the full 15 points between the teams. And that uh, is reduced by one, thanks to Joe Canning, his seventh point of this final. But Jared just shows you, you know, the backdoor system is here to stay. Kilkenny beaten, well beaten in the Leinster final and looked dead and buried. And back they've come through, the, the system is there for them. Looked spooked the last day against Galway, took them an awful long time to settle. But they finished very strongly the last day and they brought that straight to the game uh, today. And, you know, really, it's just turned into a rout now at this stage. Well, it's their sixth championship match. I'm reminded that when you won in 1998, also coming through the back door for Offaly, you played eight matches that year. Galway trying to set up another late chance, and that one's uh, run on and on and on, and it's gone wide. The back door winners of the McCarthy Cup so far, as we see TJ Reid receive some attention, have included Offaly and, of course, Cork in 2004 and Tip some two years ago. Yeah, it's brilliant for, I think, for, for the county players. You see TJ Reid now. Earl Italian there, a bit of a stroke, and he's gone out past him, and he's been involved in a lot of stuff to Earl Italian, and not as influential in the game. You know, he had a super game the last day, but Killian Buckley has won that battle today. Did get an injury right at the very, very beginning. You might remember uh, Dr. Dan Murphy was on to attend to him. Not sure if that affected his performance in any way. I doubt it because Kilkenny have been absolutely overwhelming masters. And there is uh, number 17, Noel Hickey coming back in here and Kieran Joyce is the one who makes way on this occasion he played well Kieran and I think it's Brian Cody's way of saying to all of the panel as far as he can go out there and enjoy the last few minutes
you know, what a servant Noel Hickey has been to Kilkenny over the years and you know to stick with it a player with eight Ireland medals not getting on the team but he stuck with it all year uh, played in the Leicester final this year and now he's coming on here now also to win his ninth All-Ireland uh, obviously didn't start them all but an absolutely brilliant full back over the years Jackie Terrell waited this time stepping in is Johnny Glynn what about that Galway want to finish with a flourish they may be beaten but they're not completely and absolutely down and they have young stars to look ahead to at future years like 19 year old Jonathan Glynn and this was a fair old rasper and that is the sixth goal of this final yeah, Joe, that's a brilliant goal. You know, showed great footwork, first of all, sidestep Paul Murphy as if he wasn't there, and then, you know, to hang one up in the top of the net like that. Great goal, and he is a very, very good player, very good in the air, and he's definitely going to have a huge career ahead of him. TJ Reid, I think, is the one who's in injury difficulty, and uh, Aidan Fogarty has come on in his stead. Here's Paul Murphy. Not a good clearance, only there as far as Conor Cooney. Back to Murphy again. Tidy as ever, even when they're winning by a wide old margin he's still doing the simple things effectively and there was uh, Taggy Fogarty in towards the end of that one anxious to try and get a goal like Colin Fennelly did earlier on and they would have been particularly annoyed wounded by the fact that they were left out of the side but Taggy is a great player and uh, what a vital servant for Kilkenny hurling he has been 3.20 to 3.9 so high scoring who would have expected it to be quite this? Henry Shefflin ready to hit this one, and he puts it straight over. Henry's got eight. So tonight, of course, you can see the celebrations at the Victory Hotel, and that's in the Sunday game. It's at 9.30 on RT2. Lots to look forward to there with Des Cahill. Before all of that on radio on RT1, Brian Carty's on air at six with his championship uh, look back. And uh, Damien O'Reilly at seven o'clock on RT1. Chance for you to air your views. Fergal Flannery's in difficulty because Aidan Fogarty has stolen it from him. The referee's whistle has signalled and it's going to be a free in and they're still causing problems, and they still are looking for more Kilkenny. Well, see, the hunger is still there, Ed Fogarty would not be happy, a very, very you know, tough competitor, wouldn't be happy to be left off the team, had a, you know, had a great semi-final, was, was no better or worse than a lot of them in the final, but you know, he had to make way, and to have him and Colin Fenley coming in, mad hungry. And Jared, I just want to say a very special hello to a young man in Kildare, Jason Dowling, Kyle Dovji, a great young hurler, he's very unwell at the moment, just a man in his early 30s, and uh, he's gone into the hospice in Kildare, Last Friday, I was up with him a couple of weeks ago there, and look, just to wish him all the best. He's a huge hurling fan. I know he'll be watching today, and Jason, we're all thinking of you. Certainly are, and uh, Henry Shefflin's got a ninth, and there is the Liam McCarthy Cup, the big trophy in this wonderful sport of ours. And Kilkenny will be getting their hands on it very, very shortly, in spite of the best efforts of Joseph Cooney there, just to try and delay the inevitable, but we're in the 69th minute. Galway, I suppose, had their chance early stages of the second half when his team saw a goal chalked off by the referee, James McGrath, and then when Joe Canning hit a post shortly after that, and Galway, a little later, went down to 14 players. Since then, it's looked good for Kilkenny, for David Herity, even though he has conceded three goals here this afternoon. Overall, a winning performance by Kilkenny as we head towards the 70-minute point. I think you're right there, Jerry. It doesn't tell the full picture. You know, if, if that goal was allowed and if Joe Cannon's goal had hit the post, you know, you can't, it looks so comfortable now for Kilkenny and we had to send it off as well. It really went away from Galway in that few minutes spell. And But that's how ruthless Kilkenny are. When they get on top, they just put you away. And, you know, it's been a very, very, very good team performance by all the Kilkenny players. You can't really say any of them played badly. Walter Walsh taken off after scoring 1 3. Kieran Joyce had a very, very solid game. He was the other man taken off. And, uh, you know, they've been very, very good. Every one of them have been very good. Richie Parr now from the angle shooting this one but shooting it in towards Hill 16 and away to the left hand side and he's missed the opportunity one minute of added time is going to be played now so for Galway a bitter disappointment once again yet another final loss for them this is David Burke got the two goals earlier on and that is Joe Canning and he puts it over the bar he's got eight points in this final not enough 
So that's points, the first point from play. To first point from play from a forward in injury time, and that's really the, the story of the game. Galway will now have. Oh, how about that? That's just gone to the right. Galway will now have lost some ten finals of uh, 14 played since 1975. Quite a poor record. They're going again here with Connor Cooney. Back up in here towards their goal scorer Johnny Glynn in the second half. And certainly he's a name to look out for. He was stretching out with his right hip that time. Shot comes straight back as far as Paul Murphy. Referee has been uh, looking at his watch. Only a few seconds to go now before the celebrations can begin for Kilkenny. Galway finishing with Damian Hayes here, trying to set up another chance for Joe Canning. And that one has gone over the bar brilliantly from play this time. He's got nine points in this final, but it's the final whistle. And Kilkenny are the winners, the masters here. 11 points between the teams at the end. Kilkenny once again the All-Ireland champions and another triumph for Brian Cody. And there you see Henry Shefflin, first man to win nine All-Ireland medals out on the field of play. And that McCarthy Cup going back down to Kilkenny tomorrow night. They've all played their part. Tommy Welsh there jumping for joy. The honour is stacking up really for this the greatest hurling team that we've been privileged to see. That's nine All-Ireland wins now for Brian Cody in 14 years. Nine medals on the field of play for this man, one of the greatest ever, Henry Shefflin. Joined on that mark, of course, today by Noel Hickey as well, who came on and played a part. And they joined former goalkeeper Noel Skehan, who also has nine medals. A day of bitter disappointment for Galway. Well, they knew all along that trying to beat Kilkenny twice in the one championship season was going to be a big, big ask. He got nine points, Joe Canning. He held his nerve in the draw match and took it to a replay. But it's been all about Kilkenny from the time Galway went down to 14 players after 49 minutes when Cyril Donlan was dismissed for a straight red car. Six wins for Kilkenny in the last seven years. An amazing record, and it is party time once again for Kilkenny and their hurlers. Another magnificent triumph for Brian Cody and the management team.